hate nobody as we are brothers and sisters. We are from our great grandparents, Adam and Eve. If we hate others, our relatives will be hated. In mutual understanding, we should always live. The hatred is like a severe infectious disease. Like all infectious diseases, it rapidly scatters. The hater and the hated both succumb to death. Either we will live in peace or shed tears. We should be democratic in our attitude to all. We won't hate anybody or any religion. They may have different angle of views, variety in life, no doubt, enriches our civilization. Nothing is absolutely true in this specific world. None can say I am the supreme truth and you are the absolute wrong. It is specific. Avoid hatred. Don't be rude. If we hate any custom, caste or creed, they will hate us horribly in return. As true neighbours, we should live side by side. We shall be happy as the Good Samaritan. Hatred brings violence and violent destruction. Hatred makes one isolated and then cruelly alone. The more he is isolated, the more he is violent. Like a suicide bomber, he kills all and the crown. We must swear not to hate anyone. Hatred is like Satan and revolt against love. Like the fallen angels, we become fallen men. From now, no more hatred, only white dove. This poem is Hate Not by Gobinda Buzwas, my friend in India. And I am Alexandra Psaropoulou, the Greek visual poet. Long live democracy.